Hey beautiful people, my name is Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for stopping back again. And if you're new to my channel, hey girl, welcome. In today's video, I'm just going to be doing a quick face while I get ready for work. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, all of the products that I used, stay tuned. But before you leave, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share with a friend, subscribe to the channel, also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss an upload and I'll see you at the end of the video. morning guys it's another day for work so we're gonna be just getting ready I'm gonna do something what I call quick all right so let's get started first I'm going to moisturize my face using the elf holy hydration cream okay okay guys so I finally took out my hair yesterday and wash it so I just washed my hair yesterday. I put my braids in, so I figure, you know what? I'm not even putting my scarf on this morning. Let's just do our face. And I'm gonna wear my wig to work. I'm gonna put a little bit of color corrector on this little mark here and this one. Someone mentioned that my videos, my video, one of my videos was a little washed out with the lights, my recent one. I didn't think so because, you know, I adjusted my lights, but I don't know. Primer. Elf again. I'm gonna prime in my little oily T zone areas. Foundation House Labs 480 is my color. Juvia's Place um, foundation brush. I really like this brush a lot. It's really awesome. It's big enough that way you can blend out your foundation faster. It's very dense. Meaning that the bristles aren't too soft, they're more firm. Right? Oh, if the sale, if the set is on sale, like I said, I think I only paid like $22 for the whole set, which I think it was like nine pieces. I would check it out. I would I will look for it to see if it's on sale and leave the link even if it's not on sale i will leave the link we're gonna use um two face you know sand today it's a little lighter so we're not gonna put too much Thread Beauty in 220. All right, we're going to blend out the um, 
contour first. Okay hey guys, I'm going to blend out my um, concealer with this Sonia Kashuk sponge. every single job that I've had so far I've always had the weekends off which is a blessing right okay blend 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 out the nose the nose contour can't find my elf brush I dropped it somewhere but we move on this one is like kind of angled also This one's a pretty good one too. If you want to blend out the sides. Alrighty. I'm going to use my brush and blend out the edges of the concealer. Always remember to do that guys. It's important. You don't have any harsh lines. All right, we're gonna look up under here. Make sure we have no creasing. And I'm gonna set with one size translucent powder by Patrick Star. Press into the powder, take off the excess amount, and look up and push in. Blend up my chin. Because you know what I need to do? Eat breakfast. I can't be hungry, guys. So for breakfast, I have to. Some people don't eat breakfast, but I have to eat breakfast. And with my breakfast, so what is it? What is that I can tell you guys about me? I have to have tea in the morning tea or coffee but it has to be something warm you know how some people drink orange juice 
in the morning I can't do that so early early I have to have something hot first and that's just the way I grew up you know I grew up in the mornings before I go to school my grandma she ate my great grandma that's who I grew up with she would not let me leave the house until I have something hot in my stomach. Yup. So. My grandmother raised me from I was about 15, <laughs> not 15. From I was, I'm gonna use my puff. From I was about few months old like a lot of I guess island parents they come to the States I guess to try to make a better life for you, for their kids so she left me with my grandma right my great-grandmother from I was months old until I was 15 years old and that's when I came to the States on my 15th birthday I left Jamaica and I went to New York so imagine me 15 when February this was February so what's what that's winter oh my goodness child when I tell you when I got here I was like I'm ready to go back home it was cold so I came to live with my mom I mean I would see her when she would come to visit I came to live with my mom and my sisters and you know that's how it, that's how it was that's how I got here. <laughs> and then, after high school, I moved to Florida. And then, now I live in Georgia. I'm gonna get this palette. This is a Morphe palette. And I'm just gonna take uh, this kind of light shade here this one and I'm just going to put that in my brow area just to set oh too dark too dark get a lighter one I'm just gonna set my my under my brow So for today's look, I want to do something a little different today. I'm going to go back with that color that I was just showing you guys. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to brush it in my transition area a little bit. Hope the light's okay. Something like that. Then I'm gonna take this color here in the middle. Same brush and just put that one kind of slightly beneath that one, the first one. This was this is showing better. And I'm using the big brush because it's um you know. allows me to move a little quicker because it covers more space all right now I'm gonna go in with this shade here this one that's almost done 
And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it all over my um, crease. Not my crease, but my lid space. Right? And I'm just going to brush that all over my lid. Down here at the bottom. What I was going to do, I changed my mind, but we'll do that another day. All right, so we're taking this all over the lid space. A little bit above my crease. Do the same thing over here. And always make sure you put your, you put some powder. If you're doing your um, eyes after you do your foundation, always put some powder underneath your, you know, underneath my eyes like I do, or like I did. So just in case you're doing your shadow and if any of the shadow falls out, it will fall on the powder and then you could brush it off. So therefore you won't mess up your, your makeup, right? So just in case you're wondering, that's the purpose of putting the powder down. Take the darker, the darker brown, which is this one, and I'm going to kind of focus it on the outer corner right here, and then the inner corner right here. outer and inner all right and I'm gonna leave the middle part open and do the same thing on this side okay I'm gonna take that other brush that I was using with that transition color and just make sure I blend out the edges of this first one here. So it's, you know, nice and flowing into each other. All right, so now I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take this shimmer color here at the top, that one, and I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna use my, my ring finger, and I'm just gonna put it look down a little bit and just focus that right in the center right where you can feel your um, your eyeball like the you know the ball in the middle right in the middle of your eyeball I'm just gonna go like that. All right, I'm gonna put it over here too. So notice it's, it's like slightly above my crease also. Okay, 
I'm going to get a, a flat brush and I'm going to put put just I'm gonna just grab the brown color and put it under my lower lash line give me a little smoky smoky there basically you could just use the same the same brown shadows the different shades and just you know smoke out the bottom lashes line the lash line all right if i feel like any of the powder kind of went a little too low just get my sponge and just go underneath all right okay so I'm just going to go back with the brush with the brown color and I'm just going to go on the edge of the shimmer. I don't know why I feel like I need a little bit more on this one. You want to make sure it's popping, you know? All right. Now we're just going to go back with the dark shade and just Make sure we blend out the edge, kinda, so you can't see that line, right? All right, let's do the same thing over here. Take it a little bit over the top slightly. You see, it's just a little pop of color in the middle. Nothing crazy. That's it, that's all I'm doing for the eyes, okay? I'm gonna use my Fenty powder in um, 420. Set my face. gonna get this brush even though it's not that fluffy and just kind of push the under eye powder in All right see the difference let's push it in to take away that white looking cast all right now I'm gonna bronze up my face Juvia's place to set those areas that you put the cream contour. Let's take it around the hairline a little bit. Make 
sure you make sure you blend out everything really well. And then I'm gonna use the brush that I was using to do my nose and just put a little bit of this to set it. good i'm gonna use this um blush palette by fruits cosmetics and these are the beautiful colors so i'm just gonna grab these two i know it's pink and orange but like i said there are no rules and i'm just going to Put them here. See? Mix them together. And I don't think I've done that before. I always use the pink or the orange, but today I was like, you know what? Let's just dip into both and see what happens. You'll never know until you try. Guys, then I use the Fenty um, all right I'm gonna use this brush here and just put a little bit of the highlight right here That's it. I'm going to use this Juvia's Place pencil brush to put some in my inner corner. Down, down the bridge of my nose. Right, right here. Make sure you blend it out so it doesn't look like it's just just the same. Hey girl, I'm over here. All right, that's fine. And then just go back with the the nose contour brush and just blend out, clean up the sides. I didn't put anything else extra on there. I'm gonna do things a little backwards today. Normally I do my lipstick last, but you know what? Let's do our lipstick now. Making sure I take off the um the chapstick. A little bit of it. Today I think I want to use my Juvia's Place um cola pencil. Let's just use this one is um, Lady by Julius Place. I'm gonna go back over my liner. I'm gonna use the Mac, the Mac one.
and I'm gonna use my um Dolce Latte Juvia's Place lip gloss. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to finish up my eye. Um, I'm just going to put on some black eyeliner and then um, lashes and I'll come back to close off the video. Okay guys, okay guys, so I'm back. I went off, I put on my lashes, um, I sprayed my face and um, now we just have to put on some mascara on our lower lash line. Um, this one that I'm using is, um, let me show you guys the comb. And it's Lash Sensation by Maybelline. Luscious. It's really good. Look, I'm going to show you how my bottom lashes are looking. Alrighty guys, let me show you my lashes on the lash. See? I'll be sure to link everything that I use down in the comment section, including the lashes, in the description section. And we ready guys, we ready. We are ready for work. That's my face, I hope you like it. I hope you learned a little bit from this video today. I tried to teach you guys a little something every time I do my video. All right, enjoy, have a good day. And just like that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoy the tutorial. I hope that it was easy for you to follow, hope that you learned something from it today. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share with some friends, subscribe to the channel, also turn on your post notification bell so you'll never miss an upload and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.